today's health news, a new way to protect women against HIV infection. Local 10 medical specialist Christy Krueger is in the newsroom with today's HealthCast. Yeah, this is uh, pretty exciting stuff. Two large clinical trials have shown that a vaginal ring containing an antiviral drug could safely help prevent infection from the virus that causes AIDS. So here's how it works. What it is, it's a, it's a different type of delivery mechanism that is delivered through a vaginal ring, similar to contraceptive rings that are on the market now, uh, that a woman can insert herself. Now here's the part that's kind of interesting. Although the ring cut HIV risk by 61% in women older than the age of 25, it offered very little to even no protection for women between the ages of 18 to 21. Researchers hypothesize rather that the findings underscore the need for greater education among women in that younger age group about how to properly protect themselves from HIV and other sexually transmitted diseases. Also in today's HealthCast, when it comes to getting pregnant, many couples are unaware of some really key factors that could be hampering their fertility. Experts say either partner being overweight or even underweight can impact fertility, as can exercising too much. Men are also cautioned against using any kind of testosterone or steroid type products to boost their fertility because they can actually have the exact opposite effect. But there's one key factor that still takes precedence. Age is really the most important factor. When I meet with a couple, the single piece of information that is most predictive of whether or not they're going to be successful is the age of the mom. Now we all know that smoking and drinking can be harmful to a developing fetus, but both can also hurt a couple's ability to even get pregnant in the first place. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News.